In this video, we have the Garmin GPS Map 62 and the Garmin GPS Map 64. We're going to take a look at some of the similarities and differences between these two handheld outdoor GPS units. You'll notice that the 62 has an orange band around it. This is a 62S. The 64 has a gray one. This is a 64ST with US topo maps. But beyond that, these two units are identical in a physical sense. They are both the exact same size. They both weigh 9.2 ounces. They both have a 2.6 inch 65,000 color display with a resolution of 160 by 240 pixels. Even the buttons down here at the bottom, they are going to have the exact same layout between these two units. And because they are the same size, they're also going to use the same RAM mounts cradle. Even looking here at the back, at the battery cover, they have that same Garmin spine connection. So they're both going to work with the Garmin carabiner clip and some other mounts as well. And then they each have this rubber weather cap along the top. Underneath there, you're going to find a mini USB port and an MCX external antenna jack on the 64S and 64ST models. The same is true of most of the versions of the 62 as well. Mini USB port and external antenna jack. You're not going to find an external antenna jack on the base model 62 or those versions with a camera, but for the most part, this is another similarity between these two units. So the differences we're looking at then are going to be on the internal features. For example, looking at the internal memory, the Garmin 62 series of units are going to get between 500 megabytes and 3.5 gigabytes of internal storage space. Depends on which version you get. That's been upped for the 64 series. Those are going to get you between 4 gigs and 8 gigs of internal memory. Waypoints have been increased as well. You can store 5,000 waypoints on your 64, only 2,000 on your 62. And the 64 also comes with GLONASS, which means it's going to be able to acquire more satellites and get better accuracy on its positioning. With GLONASS, you're usually going to be accurate, or you can be accurate, to within 3 meters. Without GLONASS, you're usually looking to be accurate within about 10 meters. Some other features the 64 has that the 62 does not. It comes with 250,000 preloaded geocaches. You get one free year of Garmin bird's eye satellite imagery. And if you go with the 64S or the 64ST, you can use those devices with both the Garmin Connect and the Basecamp mobile apps for your smartphone. So that is a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between the Garmin GPS Map 62 and 64 series of handheld outdoor units.